Agriculture and carpentry is very, very important. Agriculture has been here since carpentry was founded, and, and without agriculture, the, the nature and value of this town goes away. The, the greenhouses that we operate in were originally Gerber Daisy for decades, and as that market declined, the owners of the greenhouses looked to make a transition to another crop, and cannabis was there. And it's a very unique place, both you know, our proximity to the, the beach, our proximity to the mountains, and because there's only a finite amount of space, we're very close to residences, greenhouse, and, and other field agriculture. And when cannabis came to town, that proximity became a problem because growing cannabis does have an inherent smell that, that needed to be addressed. Our growers, you know, they're, they're neighbors, they're residents um, in this community. CARP Growers stands for the, the Cannabis Association for Responsible Producers. A lot of our farms came together with a unified uh, voice and wanting to solve odor and to really stand out and show the community of Carpinteria that they were serious about this issue. SCS Engineers has been our go-to for fact-finding, for expertise, air quality, and really understanding how odor from a cannabis plant behaves. Odor control in a cannabis greenhouse is very hard. By nature of the way that greenhouses work, they have to essentially breathe. Understanding when and how your emissions occur so that you don't release the emissions at times of greatest concentration is very important. And without quality measurement data, you can't come to those conclusions. This is a lung sampler that we use to uh, collect grab samples from uh, the ridge vents. We put tubing all across the greenhouse. And we run it in through a cycle through a uh, TRS analyzer. We've essentially built a state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind measurement system for measuring the total reduced sulfate emissions from cannabis down to the part per billion level with as low as a one-minute response time. So. We're capable of generating high spatial and temporal resolution. If you're just grabbing a sample that's time integrated, you miss the details and we like the details. We want to see the spikes. We want to see the drops. We want to see what's happening and try to understand exactly why that is. And maybe this is a roof vent opening. Good thing. If it's 50 here, it's not going to be 50. The moment it yeah. reaches outside, it's instantly cut in half. Like yeah, we've made some breakthrough discoveries, I think, that we can exploit. We were able to find out that their sulfonated compounds are a significant component of the emissions from cannabis, specifically mercaptans and thiols. We were able to actually demonstrate that plants behave differently at different times of the day. From the continuous measurements, we have learned basically the dynamics of the greenhouse. When sulfur contents are the highest and when terpene levels are the highest and when odor content is the highest. Growing harvesting, processing, drying. These different phases all have different odor intensities, especially when the plant is agitated. Just the general practices of these greenhouses create fluctuations in odors just because of their, what they're doing on a daily basis. We can sort of predict when their highest odor levels will be based on the sulfur concentration. We can implement standard operating procedures and engineering controls to reduce the amount of those emissions. Our solution to the problem has always been client focused. What are their needs and how can we bring our technology, our expertise on odor from decades of experience to help them steer and navigate those highly complex jurisdictional political waters as well as the public interface element. SCS has helped us with our odor abatement plans, evaluating what's feasible conceptually versus operationally and, and finding that important balance between way too expensive to continue operating to not being effective and, and not allowing the, the neighbors to not have odor. Basic principle of the machine is, is that the inlet is on the top, so the air goes in here, goes to the filter, to the ionization, Second stage filtering, I think it's one of the best machines to remove the particles and also for odor in general. We tested different types of filters and we tested different types of end filters and this is where SES came in as well. Working together with SES helped us make a better unit, better scrubber, mainly because we're sharing the data and all the data we're receiving. We really want to make it better and better. I feel we have the best product in the market this time and it's mainly because of the data we're receiving. 
we're a data-driven company. We've tested the effectiveness of these scrubbers that they've put in a lot of these greenhouses. The best thing that we can do is have great verifiable data and that if people can trust the data that we do and the processes that we use and that if we stay open and honest with everyone, and that's the kind of data that I want to produce and build the confidence in our clients and the community. As an association of farms, we've found it really valuable to have a third-party qualified engineering firm like SCS providing services for collecting data and validating odor abatement. We've really been able to build that level of trust. SCS's history with, with the county and in the region has, has created a credible third party that effectively communicates very technical topics in a, in a way that people in the community can understand. There's been times when SCS has said, this is purely not feasible to request by the community and, and it's been accepted because of that history and, and relationship with the community. This group of experts, they've been in the county, they understand land use, they understand regulations. Our clients can go to whatever regulatory agencies and approach them and say, hey, we're taking care of business here. It's a lot easier to talk about cannabis odor abatement and how proactive and serious you are about it if you are able to show improvement. That's indisputable. The trend line has gone toward less cannabis odor in Carpinteria Valley. Odor in Carpinteria has gone from really bad to better. It's not fixed yet, but as we make these incremental improvements in technology and operation, I'm extremely optimistic that this may be the true solution to, to odor in Carpinteria. SES is, we're one of the leaders right now. There's communities out there being impacted. We need to take this knowledge to help other people throughout the country. I love being able to help people. It's super exciting. Having SES involved has made future of cannabis farming in Carpenter Valley that much more achievable. Yeah.